the azimuth or equidistant projection of the Earth shows a flat Earth map. But how accurate is it? Probably not very accurate, but the most accurate along meridians in cartography, which are these vertical lines. But in this video, I want to talk about the sun and how it appears to orbit the North Pole above this Earth plane. So what we know for sure is that there are two tropics and an equator. So we have the Northern Tropic of Cancer, which is this ring right here. And then the equator, which is this following ring. And then the Southern Tropic of Capricorn, which is this, the largest ring. And this is the Arctic ring, or the Arctic Circle. And I don't have an Antarctic Circle down here. The sun proceeds along the ecliptic, and as it does, it is carried around the Earth plane. So if we look here, I'm going to show you that there are tropics and an equator directly above the terrestrial tropics and equator. And if I bring in the astroplate and remove the Earth plane, look at the bottom of the astroplate here, we can look at the See, I can remove the astroplate, and these rings are still here, uh, which show the positions directly above the tropics and equator. So we bring back the astroplate, and this blue ring here is the ecliptic river that the sun proceeds along, and it connects at the, halfway inside the astroplate and halfway out. So it cuts through some of these constellations, which are the constellations of the zodiac. And as the sun proceeds along the ecliptic river in one direction only, then as it's being swung around, it appears to orbit the North Pole, and those orbits slowly get wider and tighter as it proceeds. So this would be the June solstice sun which is June 21st, near the Orion constellation between the Gemini and Taurus constellations. And in one day, the astroplate will make a full rotation, or in 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4.1 seconds, the astroplate will make a full rotation, and the sun will proceed about 4 minutes. So, or 3, three minutes and 56.9 seconds. But as it's being carried around in the ecliptic river by the astroplate that's rotating anti-clockwise at side real speed, it appears to be orbiting directly above the northern tropic of Cancer. And that's because it is in the tightest position, or the tightest position it can be in, which will create the tightest ring around the North Pole which is directly above our terrestrial Tropic of Cancer. North, I'm sorry, yeah, Northern Tropic of Cancer. But as the sun proceeds along the ecliptic, well, actually, no, it proceeds this, it proceeds this way. The astroplate rotates anti-clockwise, making everything rise in the east, east to west, move east to west. But the sun proceeds west to east along the ecliptic, so it proceeds through the Gemini constellation, Cancer, Leo, and then it arrives in the Virgo constellation near it, uh, in the Ottoman sun, which is March 20th, March 21st, which is right where the ecliptic river and astroplate meet. So this Ottoman sun, just like the, just like the June sun, is carried around by the astroplate and sits its right where the astroplate and ecliptic river meet or halfway or a quarter away of the circuit then it gets carried around directly above the terrestrial equator so it appears to be rising from east to west so it rises in east africa and sets in West Africa, it's an observer in Africa. So if we bring back the astroplate and remove the Earth plane and 
guides really quickly. Three months later, you'll have the December solstice sun, which is December 21st. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky because these dots on the firmament back here represent stars. They're not where actual stars are because it's a reflection off of the top half of the, of the astro plate. And if you see this line cutting through the edge of the astro plate, it is a representation for what will be reflected behind the ecliptic river, if that makes sense. Similar to an infinity mirror. And they're just collections of stars, and we've made constellations out of them because of where, they, where the ecliptic passes through. So on December 21st, it'll be between the Scorpius and Sagittarius constellation, or new, on the Sagittarius constellation. And the firmament will reflect all of the stars on the top half of the astro plate off of the firmament, making it appear to be below the celestial equator, which is right above the terrestrial equator. So as the sun proceeds along the ecliptic, continues, it is carried around the earth plane by the rotating astro plate. So right now it's at the opposite end that it was at during the June solstice. And since it's so far out, it's carried around directly above the tropic, the southern tropic of Capricorn. And we can see that. If I, we can see that it appears to be orbiting above the tro southern tropic of Capricorn because it is in the furthermost region of the ecliptic river. And as it proceeds, it does tighter and wider rings around the North Pole vortex berry center directly above the North Pole. So this is my flat earth model and this is how the sun proceeds along the ecliptic being carried around by the astroplate appearing to orbit the North Pole. Thanks for watching.